Nearly 1,800 core members in Adamawa State were trained on entrepreneurial skills. Some were taught how to repair automobiles, make shoes, cosmetics, and other income-generating activities. Oolabi Adenusi compiled this report. It is a beehive of activities at the National Youth Service Corps camp in Adamawa State. Core members here are receiving training in various crafts. Agriculture right now is making waves and for giving us a medium to make money. Please, if you want your fishes, catfish, poultry, and other things, you can contact us. We are available. We are introduced to agro-marketing. We are also introduced to feed formulation for different livestock. And we are introduced to um, uh, livestock production. We learned how to take care of our skin, how to do bridal makeup, traditional makeup, and different type of makeup. We learn how to do gale also, and these are the makeups we did today. As you can see, this is a baby vest, neatly done. As you can see, look at the back, you can see the baby body written on it. And also, this is a cardigan that was neatly done by us, participants of this class. State coordinator of the scheme and other staff explain the purpose for the training. The best alternative is skilled accreditations. Not even the core members, even we, the civil servant, that we are about to retire. After retirement, what next? So the best alternative, the first solution for us is now to learn one skill or the other. So that after retirement, we'll now go and do things that at least will sustain our living. We should take the skill acquisition very seriously because the white collar jobs are no longer available and they should continue with the post camp training because the training is into two phases. We have the income and the post camp, which they can go and expand and learn more about the skills. With this skill they've learned now, if they have funds, they can do it. Although Bank of Industry and CBN, they are equally helping us to give, give them loans and NYC Foundation and WAP. We have means of giving them loans. That, that, those that are very serious with the skills they've learned. Nigeria's unemployment has been on the rise. Records from the National Bureau of Statistics indicate that youth unemployment stood at 38% in 2018 from 23.63% in 2014. It is unemployment that is creating insecurity in this country. Somebody will wake up in the day, he has no means of three square meal. What do I expect him to do? They go to kidnap him. Ski acquisition cannot work only in 30 days in NYC camp. It should be in the high institutions. The day you enter, you start it right from your first semester until the day you graduate. With that, you'll be employable. Nigeria's tertiary institutions produce an estimated 500,000 graduates every year, a figure that naturally scrambles for scarce jobs with their counterparts from foreign institutions. <laughs>